all right we need to edit this page so that we can render the uh, other images here okay so for that we'll go to just uh, uh, we'll just go to this product detail page store and product detail page so here let's see where is this uh, okay so this is the div okay so first of all i'll just uh, uh, delete this a href and this one also we don't need that a href right and first i'll give a class of main image okay so this is now the main image all right so next what we need to do uh, here uh, maybe after this article so what i'll do i'll just uh, create a ul with the class of thumbnail okay we'll just call it thumb okay ul with the class of thumb and inside this i'll make a list item okay so now what i will do i will say a a href so this href okay so let's uh, keep it like that after this href let's say target is equal to main image okay so we are targeting this image to uh, this class okay and then inside here inside this a tag we'll open a image tag okay so let's uh, give the source later for now let's uh, give a, a alt product image so now let's loop through so we need to loop through this from products right so let's say um, okay to loop through a product we need to get the product gallery right from the uh, from the uh, views so let's say for image in product underscore gallery and for okay for now uh, we need to uh, get this product gallery from the views okay we'll go to this view and uh, and uh, okay which view we should go we should go to this a uh, store app store app and views okay so in there we have a function called product gallery right so here after we get the uh, reviews let's say get the product gallery so now let's say product underscore gallery is equal to product product gallery dot objects dot filter filter it by product id okay product id is equal to single product dot id okay we have the single product right so we can access the id of it so now let's uh, uh, pass this product gallery inside the context so that this product gallery will be available for us in the template okay so now we are looping through for image in product gallery and then in the href um, image dot image dot url okay so this image i mean this image okay or else i'll say i for i in product gallery so then this, this will be i dot image dot url and the same uh, link you copy and paste it inside the uh, source okay so now uh, just uh, save the file now if you refresh all right product gallery okay so this product gallery we should import okay not here uh, we should go here okay in here just uh, let's see from dot models product review rating and comma uh, okay so this is product product gallery 
now refresh okay so now you can see one photo this is the main photo and this one two three all right so we have just uh, three photos here now so what we need to do we need to make a css okay we need to write some css so that we can properly align those uh, photos okay so first of all let's go to this um uh, here rate card and static and css and custom.css right here we'll start making uh, start giving the css so first of all um, we'll give a css to ul uh, with this class thumb okay so let's say margin margin zero a uh, margin zero space auto and then let's say padding zero float left okay and then let's say ul dot thumb okay ul dot thumb then what ul okay ul thumb then li okay ul thumb space li let's say list style none and then margin uh, maybe margin 10 pixel next we need to make the photos a little bit smaller right so these thumbnails what i'll do i'll say ul thumb li and and this image okay so i'll say ul dot thumb uh, li and image img i'll say width 80 pixel height 80 pixel uh, border 1 pixel space solid space maybe gray okay so we'll just collect the static okay so let's run this command python manage.py collect static yes all right run server now if i refresh okay mm. Just refresh, uh, okay. So you need to just uh, uh, clear the cache and refresh, okay. So now you can see one photo, two photo, three photo, right? So now what we need to do, we need to be able to click on this photo and uh, show this photo here, okay. For this, uh, we need to write some JavaScript, okay. So without JavaScript, it is it is uh, hardly possible, okay. So we'll do that. So the JavaScript. <laughs> um maybe let's write uh, jquery okay so, uh, for the javascript we will have to write uh, many lines of code so in jquery we will just achieve this by a simple uh, few lines few lines of code okay to run the jquery we need to include the jquery cdn okay so i'll say jquery cdn okay without this uh, cdn uh, our jquery will not work so i will copy this otherwise you can go here and uh, w3 schools and from here you can copy this google cdn copy and uh, put it in the footer okay so mm, let me go to this includes and footer.html and here i will paste this script okay so you know what we did not close the uh, body here okay we need to close the body and um, so we need to close the html okay so now uh, here i'll write uh, i'll just open a script and i'll write dollar document dot ready document dot ready function dollar and dot thumb space a okay so dot 
thumb dot thumb means this you uh, this class okay and uh, we are referring to this a and we need to click right on click of this a a tag so we need to run a function function with this event okay and i'll say e dot prevent default so this prevent default is uh, when you click on this image so this will not open this image okay so we don't want to open the image right when we click on this we, when we click on this uh, this image should uh, appear here right so that's why we are first uh, um, uh, preventing this default so now dollar and main image okay so this main image dot img dot attribute and this src comma dollar this dot atr attr and href So what we are doing here when we when the document you know document dot ready that means when the document is ready okay so this is the syntax of jquery okay so we must do this so when the document is ready and when we click on this a thumb a so this class and a tag click function when the click function happens okay so first first of all we are preventing this default that means uh, we are uh, we are preventing the default uh, functions of the uh, the anchor tag okay so then uh, we are opening that uh, image inside the main image container okay so that's what we are doing here so now i will hard refresh it once okay refresh it and now i click on this now you can see this image is opening here so i think uh, this looks it looks a little bit left side right so so we can align it in the center so what i'll do i'll just go to this product detail.html and here this image so i'll i'll make it i'll put it inside center tag okay put this here all right so now this is opening all right so one thing is uh, mm, okay so that main image is not not here right so what we'll do we will we will copy this okay put it here so this is by default it will be available okay so now this is like you can just copy this and put here and the source also put here so now this should be fine all right so we have four images now Two, three, four. So I think uh, that's enough for this uh, uh, for this function uh, functionality. Okay, thank you.